Hi, my name is Bo Harris. This is my second video for my Communication 225 class. This is Let Me Show You. The career path that I've chosen in my life is to be a mechanic. So, I'm going to demonstrate a very simple how to adjust a coilover. A coilover is a shock and a spring all in one that is threaded and you have a collar that you can move up and you can move down. It varies for having the vehicle to be raised, it can lower a vehicle, it can uh, tighten the pretension on a spring to make your suspension stiffer, and then you have knobs on your strut or shock that you can tighten the compression and the rebound, which is the, the upstroke and the downstroke. Uh, it's a very simple, simple method. Uh, I've only got a few minutes to kind of show, but for the demonstration purposes of this class, I figured that this would be a simple method to show how to do. Being in this mechanical field and you being a better than somebody else, you will always have to show somebody how to do that job. Whether it's a simple job, but somebody just don't know, and you got to learn from somewhere. So I'm going to show a very simple method of how you're going to have to do it. I've already got everything pre-prepped because I'm short on time and then I'm going to show how to torque a wheel with a torque wrench in the very end. So to fast forward it to the end and then go back I'm going to talk about a theoretical concept. One theoretical concept is work style. A different kind of work style. Everybody has different kinds. Some guys can read a manual and go on it about their own and be cool to go never have to talk to a person some people such as myself have to have people show them how to do it uh, they can read it but you have to have hands-on I'm a hands-on person I want you to go this is how you do this this is how you do this this is how you do this it's kind of a simple and primitive method but that's how I learn so another style of a theoretical concept that they have is communication again not communicating effectively with somebody to let them know this is how you do this this is how it's done being very vague with somebody they're not going to understand the concept of it same thing as if you're too descriptive you're going to lose the person and then they're going to be sitting there going uh-huh uh-huh and not know what's going on so it's pretty simple to have a good communication skills which is also in this class that we're learning a good kind of communication how to talk with somebody better how to keep their attention the whole time through because without the attention you're not going to get them to listen to you or if you're not vague enough they're not going to understand it and they're going to be too scared because they're day one on the job and you're making them do a day year on the job and they're like okay and then they're broken and then they're in trouble and you're getting yelled at over something silly so Without further ado, I'm going to show you how to adjust a coilover. Very simple, very easy, it's pretty cut and dry. I'm going to make it slightly short just for the simple fact that I'm kind of pressed on a time here and I could sit there and take the whole car and jack it up, do all this and do all that, but I've already got everything prepped, so here we go. Know if this is going to be any better if I can get a better lighting okay so here is your shock which is this threaded piece right here this is a shock which I have inverted but this is your shock and this is your spring and then right up here you have the collar assembly and this is what you spin you loosen here this is a one collar and then this collar here goes up and down the more you push it in the higher you're going to raise your vehicle the lower you spin it the lower your vehicle is going to be you're eventually going to run very short on time and you're going to have your car as low as possible so i've already kind of got it adjusted that the way that i want it to be adjusted so then you just basically put it and you push this collar to lock it in its place and then you've got it preset to where you want it to go. Um, the instruction manuals are in the car, but it's a very vague, very simple method how they want it to be done. The higher up you spin it, the higher your vehicle is going to go. The higher the pre-spring is going to be, the bouncier your car is going to be. The lower you spin it, the lower the car is going to go. 
you're going to run down and you can have the car sitting where you're tucking your wheel all the way up into the fender well and then you're going to never be able to really drive the vehicle around and right here is the compression and the rebound uh, adjustments you click them as such and the higher that you go this is a single adjustment so it does it at the same exact time so it doesn't risk some are more advanced and you can have a better stiffer bounce but a looser jump back up is how you really want to go is the more advanced you get into it the more advanced it's going to be this is a basic concept a basic principle on a vehicle it's not hard to do and that's pretty simple on that i i'm not going to really didn't really want to get into that part so much so like i said you have this all parted here and this has been tightened and then you get Oh, of course, it's over here. Oh. You get your spanner wrench. Your spanner wrench comes in like such. You adjust it on here. And then you adjust it onto here like such. And you spin them towards each other until they lock themselves in place. And there you go. You have your coilover adjusted to the height that you want it to be. You measure it on this side. You do the same thing on the other side. There you go. You've got it to exactly where you want it to. It's going to be a lot of up and downs until you figure out how to do it. It's kind of a fun game, but if you like being a mechanic, that's one of the things you have to do. Also, torque wrench is what you do to torque all your stuff down when you know that you have it to a spe specification. So I have a Haynes manual for my particular vehicle, Toyota Tacoma. It's a very simple book to read. If you're a novice, read it like I did. It was pretty simple. So you're going to set it on there. I've already looked it up. It's 85 foot-pounds. You have foot-pounds on this one side, and then you have Newton meters. We're Americans, so we use foot-pounds. So you would push it all the way on. You loosen this knob. You would tighten it up, and it's 85 foot-pounds. So you would see... Oh, if that's going to be very, it's not readable at all. Never mind. It has an 80. There's a little hat, halfway hash mark, and then it goes to 90. You would adjust it to the 80, and then you would spin it until it hits the 5, which is, well, you still can't see. You tighten it as such on this bottom part here. You put it on here. You click, you'll go, and you'll keep tightening it as such, and it'll go and come back and go and come back and come back. And then when you're done, it'll go click. Come back one more time again, click. That is a very simple, simple way of torquing down your lug nuts. After everything that you do, you need to have every, everything has a torque spec. Everything has to be tightened to a specific way of being. That's the way they want it. That's how things don't get jostled loose. After so many hundred miles, you're supposed to come back and do it again, but that's neither here nor there on that part. My simple part of this, this uh, for this class was to show you how to demonstrate how to do something for somebody. So without further ado, thank you, Bo Harris. Good night.